Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This is a short video to show you how you can make your PMO dashboards more useful for a wider audience by showing sub-department views. So what do I mean by this? Let's have a look. So in here, I've got my portfolio dashboard and in the portfolio dashboard, you can see all the number of projects that are going on and various information underneath it, including the number of projects by area, which is manufacturing, marketing, R&D and sales. And if you scroll down, we've got all the various information in terms of the projects by the, the live projects, what's the status, budget, um, the overall status, what's happening on these projects, risks and issues, change requests, and the resourcing overview, which comes in from resource management by Smartsheet. So if I scroll up to the top here, what you can see on the side is I've got a section here for the various sub-department dashboard, so it's navigation panel. So if I click onto manufacturing, it now gives me the subset of the projects that are active within manufacturing. So you can see the four projects there and down below. And this report just brings in the manufacturing projects into here. And I, again, pause it there. And if I go to R&D, again, the same. It just looks at the R&D projects that are live in here and the total projects and it gives the numbers and it's got the view here. So again, if you're the head of R&D and these are the projects going in your area, then you can see what the situation is. Ditto to sales and same again to marketing. So again, the dashboard changes each time and it's very specific to each one of these. So if we go back to the portfolio, how have I done that? Very simply, I have just added in buttons in here for each one. So each of these are just a button um, which is using the title panel. And within each one, I've got it so it opens a Smartsheet item. So I click on that and I link it up to the dashboard that I want to open. And from this, I started off with the portfolio dashboard and I took a copy of this one. And all I did when it came to doing the manufacturing one is went into that saved copy and changed the color on here. So let me just go back and give you a sense of how I would do that. So if I click onto here and I go save as new, I'm going to call this one, um, so I'm going to call this one Manufacturing Demo Summary Dashboard. Save it like that. And then all I need to do is start going in and altering this one. So Manufacture, he says, we need to put it into capitals. Manufacturing should have gone for R&D a lot shorter to type. And then you start just going in. And in this case, I've chosen to change the color of the titles so that they are, um, he says, change the color so that it's easier to navigate. So you can see if I then change that, um, that way then you know which dashboard you're in rather than them all being exactly the same color. So in terms of this, this is the demo summary one. And going forwards from here, what I then needed to do was change the widgets on here. So if I go into my portfolio metrics, all I did was go into my portfolio metrics in here. I went right, what are the manufacturing ones? And what's the total number of projects for manufacturing? Click on that, press OK. And it looks like it hasn't changed, but that's because that metric is hidden down below. So all I need to do is go and delete that one off. And you can either leave it to say manufacturing underneath or take it out in this case. So then what you need to do is just go through each of these metrics, updating them. If you go to the budget, for example, again, just back to the portfolio metrics here and down below, you can see the portfolio metrics overall budget. Click on that link, that area rather, go to there, get rid of the one that's in there and manufacturing and hey presto, it's in. Um, for the other items, so what you will have noticed or maybe not, um, but if I save this and come back out is Obviously in the manufacturing dashboard, we don't want this bar chart, but actually what is more useful if we go to the actual manufacturing dashboard is it's got projects by stage in here. So again, I just went to my uh, metrics page and added that in for each one. So that was a new chart. So let me just go back one moment to here. So active projects by area. What would I then have to do in this case is this is the demo one. I'll go to the dashboard and one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. So this is the portfolio metrics. Rather than the, the projects by area, I'm just going to go the projects by stage. And I'm going to say, what is it for manufacturing? So click onto this one. Here we go. And it puts it in. And then this way you can get to choose. In my case, I thought the step line was 
the best way of doing this. And again, I don't need the uh, legend anymore, so I would then get rid of that. So that's why you've got this. And then the last thing I can do on this piece is if I go to the series, I'm also going to do the fill line, which just makes it look a bit more effective. So here it's done. And then, yeah, we've got to just go through projects by rag status, change that one to the metric. The reports, these are specific to the various areas. So let me just go back to manufacturing as an example. So in here, what you'll see is actually this is a manufacturing budget. So all I did in the in the top case is, let me just come back out of here a second and go to portfolio. So I click on the portfolio budget at the beginning. And what I need to do is click save as new. And I'm gonna call this one, um, so let me go back to, uh, and I guess what I'm going to do R&D because it's just shorter. I'm going to leave out the ampersand for R&D budget. I'm going to say, oops, I'm going to call this demo. Rather, yeah, so I don't confuse it. Demo R&D budget. And all I need to do is I need to go into my filter criteria. And what I'm going to click on is I'm going to go department and select is one of, is one of, and then I'm going to change that to be R&D. This way then I've got that report. I can now use that report to link in. And if I save that and I just go, right, I want to do the other ones. Again, save as new very quickly. I'm going to call it demo sales budget in this case, get rid of the word copy of, which you wouldn't want. And then go into the filter. And because I've used that one, the is one of, it's very quick and easy just to change that save. So again, you can create the additional reports really quickly and really easily. Okay, well, also now I might as well do the manufacturing one because that's what I need for the other demo. So let me just do save as new demo um, manu, and I'll just keep it short there. Demo manufacturing budget, and I'm going to save, change the filter to be manufacturing, click and do that, uh, save. And if I go back to the um, if I go back to the manufacturing demo dash, dashboard in here, which I was working on, so this is the one here, all I need to do now is go in and double click portfolio budget. And if we go into here, portfolio budget, and what I'm just going to look for is the, those, I just need to refresh the, to bring up the right reports. So that all the ones I've just created are in there. So I'm going to come to the manufacturing demo dashboard and in here, we've got the budget report. So what I need to do is edit the dashboard, click to open, change the budget. And in here, I've got portfolio budget. Well, I want the demo manufacturing budget. So I click on here and it changes that budget accordingly. And then in the same way, active project summary, I can change that and I can save it, put a filter on, and then do it so it's just the manufacturing one. Here you've got the manufacturing dashboard, and then all you need to do is then save as new, and then do R&D, sales, marketing, etc. So hopefully that's useful for you that you get a view of from your portfolio um, dashboard, um, and then you can go through the various views down here, and once you've got that, you still have the various projects which you can go down, down to to see the whole, whole view as well. So. Again, trust that's been useful for you to see that bit, all clear. Project dashboards still sit underneath on that piece. And yeah, there we have it. So that's an overall view of how you can do your portfolio dashboards. Trust that's been useful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.